14 activity based costing. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email address and our phone number, and we are now on Facebook. St. Louis Test Prep is our Facebook page. We have a challenge which gives us the need for activity based costing, and the challenge is, is that we assign costs too broadly to products and services. Why is that a problem? Because costs may differ greatly between departments. One department may be using a lot more of the resource than another. So we may have too much cost assigned to some areas and too little to others. And the, the ultimate problem is, is that our product is going to be priced incorrectly. Some products will be, quote, overcosted, and those are going to subsidize or take up too much of the cost of products that are undercosted. We don't know we don't have cost properly assigned we can't price our product so activity based costing is about redefining the cost system and you may remember way back when the beginning of cost or management accounting we talk about direct and indirect costs we trace direct costs and if you can think about the pair of Levi's blue jeans we trace the cost of the denim material directly to the pair of jeans so in order to refine things, we want to classify more costs as direct, that is, as many as possible costs assigned directly to the product or service. The second thing we do, we talk about indirect costs being allocated. I've got the word tracing there, but more specifically, they're allocated. We want to expand the number of cost pools, that is, the measurements of things that suck up our cost dollars. We want to make a more specific we want more of them until each one is unique. The bottom of the page, what causes cost pools to change? The cost allocation base. We want to use more of them. We found on prior videos that generally machine hours or labor hours in a manufacturing environment is used to allocate costs. So let's make them as more as specific as possible. To explain this concept, I want to jump over to a great question that a student of mine sent me that was on an exam. It says Martin and Beasley, an accounting firm, provides consulting and tax planning. They have two businesses. A recent analysis found that 55% of the firm's billable hours to clients resulted from tax planning. So 55% tax planning, 45% consulting, they're in two businesses. The challenge is they need to allocate some administrative costs, and we see that that total is $270,000. And up until now, they've just split it between the two areas based on the 55-45% percentage business. That's how they've allocated costs. We see three types of administrative costs. We've got staff, we've got a computer charge, and we've got office costs. The paragraph below says a recent analysis of staff support found a strong correlation between the number of clients served. In contrast, in-house computing and miscellaneous office vary directly with the number of computer hours logged. That sounds like an allocation base. And the number of client transactions. That sounds like a cost allocation base. And then they give us percentages, and I'll leave these on the screen rather than reading them off. So our goal here, again, in activity-based costing is to assign costs more specifically. Jumping over to Excel, Here's how we assign the cost. At the top, we have staff support, computer time, and miscellaneous. These are the total costs we're trying to assign. Here are the dollars that we're trying to assign, totaling 270, the same amount as we saw on the question. And now the percentages we're assigning are different. Because we said the consulting area has 35% of the staff support dollars based on client serve. 30% of the, of the computer hours, 30% 30, 30 of the $50,000 based on computer hours, 20% of the miscellaneous based on client transactions. These three boxes, client served, computer hours, client transactions, are the cost drivers. We're making it more specific. So you'll see when I click on this cell that the cost assigned is simply 
total costs incurred for these three areas times the percentage that goes to the consulting service. And we see over here in red that the consulting costs given activity-based costing is $89,000. In the old model, we were simply taking 270,000 total dollars and saying that 45% of the business was due to consulting and this 121,500 was simply 270,000 times 45%. What we have here with the $89,000 is a more specific way of assigning the cost so we can see that the actual cost that we assign has declined by $32,500, which is more correct because the costs are assigned in a more specific way. We've created different cost pools and different ways of allocating cost. If we go back to our question here, it says, if Martin and Beasley switch from its current accounting method which said 45% of the 270000 went to consulting. To an activity-based costing system, again, using the three percentages, client base, computer hours, transactions, the cost of administrative chargeable to the consulting business would decrease by 32500 We were over-costing to the consulting area and under-costing to the tax planning area. That's the end of Management Accounting Part 14. You'll see the first bullet point. We now have hour-long courses available using GoToMeeting.com. You can email me to find out more about those. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, all one word. We have a complete list of videos on our website. For live tutoring and chat sessions, also one-on-one, -on -one, here's our website, stltest.net. Our phone number and our email address Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.